Guys, hello and welcome back to my channel EcoFit Life and you are watching Workout 365. Today we are going to talk about how much should we work out. So if you are doing running, you are playing a sport or if you are working out regularly in the gym, so what, how much time should you work out? In which category we are falling in? If you are a beginner, if you are working out from quite some time with heavy sets and we are putting in all our effort while we are working out. So it totally depends on you, your strength, your endurances and how much you can take in, how much your body can take. But yes, you should not take a lot of rest in between the sets or while you're working out or you're running or doing any exercise. If you're a beginner, you should not work out more than 30 minutes. That's right. But you have to make sure that you're putting all your effort in, in that 30 minutes, not taking breaks more than 30 seconds to one minute. So limit your breaks but it should be crisp and it should be precise the workout that you're doing in the gym or in a park or if you're even if you're playing a sport which is of more intensity it should not be more than 30 minutes if you have started working out right now or for the intermediate and people who are working out from more than six months the workout should not be more than 45 minutes but yes again it should not be like if you are sitting, if you're talking while working out, it should not be like that. You just have to put in all your effort in while you're working out. It does not matter if you're doing heavy sets or just a body weight training. But yes, it should not be more than 45 minutes. That in also includes 5 to 10 minutes of cardio. That's right. It could be you're running, you're cycling, anything that increases your heart rate and keep it constant more than 120 beats per minute. That's called a cardiovascular exercise so that should also be included post your uh, gym workout routine so that is including in the in the time frame of 45 minutes so just to make sure it will be a compact full body workout that you do every day in the gym do take popular breaks for water as well as for uh, cooling down your muscles and your heartbeat so let's talk about advanced level. It could be from 1 hour to 1 hour 15 minutes at max if you are training for any circuit or if you are training heavily and you are working out for more than one year, one and a half years. Now is the time you feel like you need to go ahead and put all your efforts in. You, you are trying to gain muscle, you are trying to reduce weight. This is the time. You should not take breaks more than 30 seconds as I mentioned earlier as well. So just put all your efforts in. Put all your heart and mind with the uh, with the workout that you're doing and all the best so this was my simple how much workout you should do in a day adding one more point to the table that if you're working out for five days in a week more thing that if you're working out for four to five days in a week that is more than enough you do not have to push yourself or put yourself in a position that you do not your body is not recovering your muscles are not recovering so you have to give proper rest to your body tip of the day is you do not have to train your muscle twice in a span of two days that's right in two days that's 48 hours you do not have to train the same muscle again so if you are working out for biceps today do not have to do biceps again in next 48 hours your muscle the same muscle rest for at least 48 hours before you start training that muscle again so that goes again for cardio legs chest back every muscle part needs a rest of 48 hours for your muscle to grow and recover so that's a simple tip do follow it and all the best for your goals do write to me for anything and everything that you have as a query or if you have even have a question do write to me i'll be responsive within a day so see you all take care bye bye see you tomorrow with a workout session